All right, 24 minutes after the hour, the CEO of uh, cheating website Ashley Madison resigns following the massive hack outing. It outed 37 million users, including him, by the way. Noel Bitterman remains silent ever since hackers began dumping the stolen data August 18th, including several emails belonging to him. So? What's the key to a happy relationship? One that doesn't include cheating, perhaps. Well, here to break it down, Dr. Neil Clark Warren, the CEO and founder of eHarmony. Dr. Warren, it's great to have you here. It's really good to be here. Okay, so as, as a stark contrast to what's happening yeah. uh, with Ashley Madison, eHarmony's been going strong for 15 years, 15 matching years. people, but it's based on a 29-point sort of matching system. What is it exactly? Well, these that 29 makes the work? points, uh, what we did, uh, Elizabeth, was we took, uh, we had 800 couples in our control group. Actually, uh, we had 200 just really satisfied people in marriage and 200 pretty dissatisfied. And we began to look, what makes a difference? So what does? Well, the big thing uh, is that they are well matched on 29 variables. Okay. But, but uh, I just want to say straight out that we believe in long-term marriage, lifetime marriage. We have a wonderful divorce rate. Uh, I mean, no, no divorce rate is wonderful, I suppose. But it's we, slow. we have a 3.86% divorce rate okay. over the last 10 years. So what keeps couples together Long haul. What are the characteristics? One, I would imagine loyalty. Yeah, is loyalty one. is a big one, and that's a, an appropriate one, right? And another quality that's so critical is that they be unselfish. I mean, that they think about the other person's welfare before First. they think about their own. So, right? so instead of worrying about, am I happy? Worry yeah. about, are they happy? Exactly. And uh, a, a third one would be, they need to be matched up on, on certain variables that are really critical, like intelligence. If one person's really, really bright, the other person needs to be pretty bright too. Mm -hmm. And if you get a big difference between the two, like my mom and dad. My dad was a genius. My mom was a wonderful, sweet, country girl who just had probably a little bit better than an average IQ. So they didn't talk much because my dad wanted to talk about <laughs> is this theoretical. True? This is the truth. And and it, we had a very quiet home. So opposites oh. don't necessarily attract. That well, cliche no. is not all true. Well, I'll tell you. Just put, uh, what would you do? Put the radio up? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Was, how did that go? How, I'm how staggered by this. No, opposites sometimes do attract, but we always like to think opposites attract and then they attack. Because if you don't, if you don't, if you're opposite someone, you have to negotiate a lot of things, and that isn't so good. Okay. You also say that generosity is key. Oh, I love generosity. I think it's one of the most important variables. Uh, I love my dad for that. He just gave away at his funeral. So many people came up and said, "I I went to OJ and I asked him." for a hundred dollars if I could just borrow a hundred dollars and he put a check in the, in an envelope and and he handed it to me and I got home and it was I opened it up it was three hundred dollars and wow. I thought my dad was like that I love that I think any woman loves that in a man and a, any man yes. loves that in a woman and be kind you say kind, oh kindness the number one thing that everybody wants in a relationship is somebody who's kind. And I should tell you this, Elizabeth, and, and maybe the two gentlemen would like to know this, too, that women really love a man who has a sense of humor. True. It's really crucial. And I've, I've, I kind of link that in my head, too. They want to know that they can trust a man under every circumstance. If he has a little sense of humor, yes. he becomes more trustworthy. He's more Gotta resilient. He's I more have resilient. a close friend who found true happiness in marriage on your site, so I'm impressed by what you do. Oh, I love that. We think we've had about two million marriages, and uh, we're doing some other things now, if I could quickly tell you. Uh, one is called EH+. Plus. This is for people who are so busy they don't have time to spend on the on the computer and it costs a little bit more but we hold their hands we pick the people for them oh, and you can nice. talk to our person every oh. day and this is a phd level person I love us, dr warren thank you it's for great your time to see you this morning okay today. thank Helping you so much for across the nation right. thanks for that thank